Oh yeah, it was about Portal. <laughs> but hey everyone, this is Lonnie and I'm back with another episode of The Boss. And who is the boss? Jacksepticeye, of course. And we know Jacksepticeye, he can solve puzzles if given the time. And I really like the music here, actually. It's very nice. Welcome to the friction inhibition gel test. Or the fig test. Figs? some presumed clever scientists have called it. I can imagine that. What do you want, Chan Li? You, you want to be? You want to join here? Yeah. I guess not. But let me guess. Lots of fruit puns coming out of that, right? I guess it's more about figurally speaking, you know. <laughs> well, that is the fruit of all efforts. <laughs> That's too easy. Those are like a whole low-hanging fruit. Oh gosh. Cliff Smedley, I will be sure to make a note in your file. Damn it! They make a note in my fun! Oh boy, what did I do wrong? Are jokes not allowed? Oh, you aren't in trouble. I was just going to note that you believed you were clever. It's honestly kind of charming whenever the test subjects assume that they have the necessary wit to complete the tests. But we'll see how well that wit serves you here. The cube you are pushing around is the Aperture Science Weighted Companion. <gasps> Companion cube, my waifu! Oh my god, I miss you so much. I remember back in the old days playing Portal. Hello. There you are. No, I'm not. Wow, that was something. This cube has been coated with the complimentary fig agent, hence why you two <laughs> won't slide on the floor, and will accompany you on your journey through this puzzle, serving as your beloved and faithful companion. See to it that you do not break its fragile, cute heart. I could never dream of doing that. But you did it, Gladys. You did it. I wasn't planning to, but okay. No, uh, Jack, you see, this is how they get you. She's trying to emotionally manipulate you into believing that you'll feel exactly the way she wants you during this test. By the way, I should inform you that due to emotional complications, the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube cannot come in contact with the Glacier White Testing Surface Squares. No way! It has also updated its online status. And it says that you are now officially its best friends. <laughs> oh, that manipulate you, Jack! It's too late! I can't receive it! I will be your beloved and faithful companion through this test! Platonically, my heart belongs to Turin. Tired? Is it uh, Games of Thrones? Ah, oh, your girlfriend? Well, that's kind of a strong word. She's a girl and she is my friend. And I really like her, but she's not my girlfriend. As we see, well, maybe so someday. She hasn't overlooked him for another handsome specimen. Ouch. Then again, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would find either of you two. Viable candidates for coupleship. Well, I can assure you, Gladys, that the day is probably more viable in any kind of coupleship than I am. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of OTPs with uh, Cliff and Jack in the in the internet. There is a, a certain parts of the internet I don't go to. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. Yep. Yeah. Yes, can ignore that. Okay, so now we're gonna. Okay. So the goal is to move the little box there, I guess. Oh, my beloved companion, I have been missing you so much. Though I don't still trust GLaDOS after all. She promised me cake, but I never got it. That can break a man's heart, you know? And now we need to find out how to do this, because... Uh, ah, oh, wait, this is easy. I, I actually started to think like very hard. This must be super complicated. It seems you defied the odds and completed this puzzle. Your audience of one was on the edge of his seat the entire time. Yes, thank you, my audience. It's an Oscar next for me. Hmm? What's that? Huh? Listen, you can even hear his voice trembling from the adrenaline. Oh yes, I can hear that. He's excited. Oh no, I was just running. I had to check up on the others since you're over here. He's delirious with happiness for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, now what? Push the button nearest the door, and you may leave. Though leaving comes at the price of sacrificing one of your party members. 
Okay, bye, 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 Cliff. <laughs> Say what? What? She means push the button and drop the cube into the incinerator. I would say that terseness and elegance were never so delicately woven together as in your statement just now. But they weren't. And it's not nice to lie. You know about that, Gladys, don't you? Hey. Hey. That is right. In order to continue, you will need to sacrifice the Aperture Science Weighted Companion Cube. Done and done. Let's just... Cliff? Of everything you've done for us, little cube, I'm going to really miss you. Please don't hold it against us. Cliff, you said it earlier. This is her manipulating how we feel. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh, whoops. You two really are morons, aren't you? Sorry. Call us what you like. But I don't want... Can't I sacrifice Cliff instead of take the companion cube with me? Because this is my old waifu. And I miss her so dearly. I don't want to do it. I'm terrible. No! Irrefutably so. Well then, proceed to the next room. I'll be with you shortly, seeing as the other team may be about to finish their puzzle. No, I can't. I can't. I can't move on anymore. <laughs> hey, this is awful. Let me, sir. What happens after that? More testing. Try oh yeah. Let the newness and Never heard that before. Off just yet. It makes the years more bearable. Jeeves? Oh. That was a bit... unexpected. Earlier. I'm not seeing a way out, and that is our first priority now. I know about Jack and Cliff. I'm really worried about them. I am too, but you think they'll be a little more resilient. I mean, do I have to go find those two jokers? Really? And why do we keep getting separated? Are you really that disappointed to be stuck with me? Are you kidding me? Out of everyone I couldn't be stuck with, it was you, the least annoying one. Thanks? You know, honestly, it really is a relief. Ah, you're awake. Time to do some testing, I suppose. Unless you would like to call out sick. Do, do, I would not do. recommend this. However, in the event that you do forfeit on account of illness, we have a pharmaceutical test we are running. I actually didn't hear much what she said. I was just enjoying the music. Sounds incredible familiar, I don't know why. So far, the known side effects have included but are not limited to muscular pain and weakness. I don't have headache, muscles. Loss of vision. I'm, loss I'm of idiot, hearing, I don't have any. I already have bad vision. Hearing, minor internal bleeding, major internal hemorrhaging, growth of a third nostril, palpitations, constipation. Third nostril? Cool. That would be my super. I'm the flying for nostril bad. Swine flu. And in 43% of the cases, instantaneous yet painless death. Any volunteers? I mean, either I get a fur nostril or I die painlessly. I mean, it sounds like win-win to me. <laughs> could I, I could name a handful of things on that list that I've experienced before. Pause. Good. Then I think you'll like what I have in store for you just outside that portal. Why? Why don't you take a look? Preferably not. My digital. Can I? Oh, can I? Can I flush? I remember I tried to drown the clock radio in it. It didn't work. I still. There is something so insanely familiar with this music. Ah, oh, I hate it. Not that I hate the song, but these turrets are older models, so they are only capable of sight in a straight line in front of them. They're kind of stupid that way, but with the cuts to funding, we've been digging through the old warehouses. At least the bullets are every bit as lethal. Oh, fantastic! I hope they never change. Yay! Lethal? Don't worry, I think Play Agency has us both covered here. Player Agency? You take a while to explain without the rule book. Yes, you know that you're safe from ultimately dying here. Okay. I have to go supervise the other test subjects. Their vitals indicate that they appear to be waking up and will need someone to conduct their side of the experiments. Employee 207 will be over shortly. He's such a 
useful tool. Oh, about jazz. Tool? That sounds ominous. Does it? I suppose I'm just happy to have so many test subjects again. It makes me feel a little more pleasant inside. You don't have anything inside you, GLaDOS. I'll be back once you finish the All the lies. The cake. A little more pleasant? i like to see the scale of that. Did anything about that strike you as odd, Billy? Out of it. I mean, it sounds like there were more test subjects than just us. You don't suppose that she has other subscribers, do you? Well, it could either mean that or that she actually meeting uh, Jack and Cl uh, Cliff. Or more subscribers. Damn it. For someone that have losing all of his subscribers, Jack is just constantly growing. Man, he's awesome. I don't, I don't think so. Aside from you and Cliff, I think everyone else who got uploaded was accounted for. Well, that's a relief. It was an amazing connection here in Ireland to know something like that. I don't know how you all do it. Well, uh, somehow imagine Billy, Billy, like, you know, the weird ass merchant in Resident Evil 4. But, wanna buy? And he had like all the secret sheet codes and things like that. Like, wanna buy the sheet code? It's a Konami code. <laughs> yeah, we're amazing and like that. Let's just get these things turned off and get back to the others. Hello. Hey! How is it? I guess we're gonna. I'm on fire. Oh, you're. Don't think about more tests. I'm still bothering. I don't know how how it could be though. She is craft that give her that, so it could be any number of people. Heck, it could even be other game characters. Searching. Who else fits that description though? I'm late. I'm a little lost with the cameras. I knew aperture was big, but man. That's a lot of cameras. Yeah, these cameras, man. Then again, Jenny, I think our short list just got shorter. Okay. What was that? <laughs> Nothing! I'll tell you later. Yeah. Okay, well, don't wait for too long. You've got me all curious now. I got it, bitch. Okay, okay. Oh, but I'll, I'll remember these. Oh my god, I, I need to play. Okay, you win. Aww. Time. Aww, sleep well, princess. But if there, remind, are the sub of things still bothering me? The subscribers again? No, it's actually about Jack. I don't blame you. Oh, no, I don't blame you either, Jack. Why about Jack? Well, it could be just my imagine, imagination, but something strikes me as weird about him. He's the accepted guy. What? <laughs> what? I'm gonna do that very soon, little friend. Weird, well, Jack's usually weird, but weird how exactly? I don't know, he's just... I mean... He doesn't feel like Jack. Well, I mean, when you put it that You're way... You're still standing there? You just pushed the button, can we get a move on? I know GLaDOS likes to rub people's lifespans in their faces to say that they have all that time to complete the test, but I'd really like to do some other stuff with my time, if you don't mind. Oh, don't be so grumpy! We are worried... Maybe it's Ant... Antisep antiseptic yak or what? Oh, man, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, you, uh, you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, sir, how do you get started with, with GLaDOS? You're honestly curious about that? Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, I find character facts are to be fascinating, especially when there's a lot of very detailed lore. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, now we got under the hood of this guy. Um, actually, it wasn't too long ago that I started working for her. Not too much, really. She tried running me through the tests, but apparently my scores were so dis uh, different, in a higher sense of the word, that she promoted me to her right-hand man. Oh, damn, snap! And now she's got me looking for test subjects and helping with giving the tests and stuff. It's amazing how hard it isn't once you get to work. It's the job descriptions just make it sound way more difficult than it actually is. Like BSing a school paper. Assume you went to school. Billy, please. Come on out the shop. Anyway, that's pretty fascinating. From humble beginning to upper echelon, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's kind of fun supervising. You two are my first, but I can definitely say that I'd love to keep helping her like this. And with the way things are going, you two might end up being my permanent test subjects. Imagine the hours we'll spend together. Oh, I... 
One puzzle at a time, man. Jeez. Sentry mode activated. Sentry mode activated. I must say that I'm first of all I must say I'm really impressed by all the tiles because I'm pre uh because all of the I mean seriously, this is literally Oh I it. That is... Could you come over here? I'm on my way, little one! Basili, doing all of these tiles and all that is pretty freaking amazing. No hard I'm back. feelings. Congratulations. Yes! You have shown exceptional intelligence in completing this test. How well did they do, employee 207? Oh, very well. And thank you for letting me oversee this. It was quite an experience. Oh yes, I can imagine it is. You seem to what be responding as hypothesized. Very good. I'm sorry, what was that? Did I say something potentially damaging? <laughs> no, it was nothing. Anyway, being so short-staffed, it falls upon me to redirect the other two to the next puzzle. Keep an eye on them, employee 207. I'll be back to set up the next test for them afterwards. Ah, oh, seriously. I think our suspicious were just covered with a huge confirm stamp. Seems like it. Seems like what? Seems like what? Please do not be alarmed when we tell you this, but we think Glass might be, well, maybe use you as a test subject. What? No, that that's just ridiculous. Why would she? Glados? Now say? Why do you look so surprised, Tifa? It's not like you're a stealth Nidia or something like that. When we were talking earlier, you did manage to be a test subject for her before. Uh, yeah, that was after she found me hiding in the recording booth. Oh, snap. Yes, now? There wasn't a lot of time for testing. No. No, I was just pretending to be the narrator when you showed up. She asked me to do that. Okay, but please think about it. She may have never stopped using you as a test subject, even after giving you promotion. Do you think she'd really? Totally, man. Totally. Come on, this is Gladys we're talking about. She totally would. I talk about the hypothesis behavior didn't really sound like it was directed at us. It seemed more like you. It seemed like she'd been implying that us, Jack, and Cliff aren't the only subjects she has. Do you know any others? No. You four are the only ones she has. You know what? Screw this. Go through the door. I'll meet up with you guys later. Yes, we got a new ally! Absolutely. Well, shall we? Let's... But I said, I must say it is really impressive and awesome with voice acting as well. Oh, there is Yakin! Cliff! 